let us discuss web cache it is also known as a proxy server it is a network entity which satisfied the http request on behalf of an origin web server so web cache has its own disk storage which is keep a copy of the recently requested object in this storage let's see in detail a user's browser can be configured so the user's http request are first directed to the web cache instead of the origin web server in this figure client or user send a request to the proxy server instead of the origin server and proxy server work as a origin server the all browser send all http request to the cache proxy server and that proxy server reply that object to the client example a browser requesting this url samschool.edu campus.gif so the object in case or proxy server return to the client browser if in case the object not stored in proxy server then and then request pass to the origin server and from origin server response that object to the proxy server and return to the client browser let us see how it work a browser establish a tcp connection to the web cache and send a http request for a object to the web cache the web cache check that to see if it has a copy of the object stored locally if it does the web cache return that object within http response message to the client browser if the web cache does not have any of the object the web cache open a connection tcp connection to the origin server that is www.samschool.edu the web cache then send http request for the object into cache to the server tcp connection after receiving this request the server origin server send that object within http response to the proxy server when the web cache received an object from server it stored local copy on their hard drive and then further send http response message with that object to the client browser so note that over here in first case the client request side the proxy server work as a server and response to the client but object is not stored in proxy server at that time the proxy server work as a client and that can send a http request to the origin server the origin server reply response to the proxy server for that object so the proxy server work as a client as well as server now second client also want to required same object then they can request to the http request to the proxy server same object stored locally over here so it this request cannot go through the origin server instead of that it reply from proxy server of same object to the client see in web proxy server let's see our institute network and internet connection 
in this institute network the pc are connected each other and we have local web cache in our institute network the network connection or bandwidth is 100 mbps in our college institute network which is connected to the public internet line and that line speed or we can say the bandwidth is access link is 1.54 mbps so this bottleneck case speed is more in this lan and this bandwidth is less in this access point so it reduce the time for the client request because same number of the client request the same website for example gtu.ac.in so some of the object stored locally on this cache so it directly reply same cache page same object to the here instead of going origin server so it save the response time for a client also reduce the traffic for the institutions access link for request not directed to the original server instead of they directed to the local web cache so internet dense with the cache insufficiency for the content provider to effectively deliver the content next video we will discuss about file transfer protocol